how to use the mouse. Here we have the mouse, which is the commonest input device as you use the computer. This is a mouse before us. It has three major buttons. You have the left button, you have the right button here, and the scroll at the middle. The scroll is a wheel. You either scroll it out of yourself or you scroll it towards yourself. Okay, so this is the mouse. It's a wired mouse. It has a wire here that is connected to the computer. There's a left button, there's a right button, okay? Instead of saying left click, you will normally hear click. And so click means left click. Click means to left click. To right click, you just press the second button here. Here we have a mouse pad. A mouse pad is a surface on which you place the mouse as you use it to control your computer. Okay? So it's necessary you have a mouse pad or, or else the your cursor wouldn't be moving accurately enough. Here, let's talk about how to handle the mouse. Okay? Now, this is your mouse. Okay? This is my graphics pen tablet. A typical system should be like this. You have your graphics pen tablet with which you write on the screen. Okay? This is your keyboard and this is your mouse. Now, how do you handle the mouse? This, look at this picture. You can see that this is a PC form. This board here is called the PC form. Okay? This is a PC form. This is your thumb, and this is your third finger. So you handle the mouse with your thumb and your third finger. You hold it with those two fingers, and you rest your PC form, okay? You rest your PC form on the table, like this, and that's how you move the mouse. Okay, so you are moving it. Then your index finger, your first finger, will be on the left button, and your second finger will be on the second button, which is the right button there. Okay, you handle the mouse with just two fingers. That is it. Okay, you rest the first finger on it. Okay, then your PC form, this bone, will be on the table. So the PC form becomes a fulcrum, becomes a fulcrum. That position on which the, the plank is oscillating is called the fulcrum. A lot of people, they hold the mouse with the whole hand. You just cover it up like that and you start moving. You won't move it accurately enough, okay? You won't be accurate. You just have to use these two fingers, hold it, rest your PC form on the table, and you move it accurately. Okay, you can see, it. and it's a faster distance, you can see. It. You can move, you can traverse the diagonal of your screen, okay, you can see it with just a single swipe. That's it, okay? So that's how to handle the mouse. Your PC form on the table, your thumb and your third finger holding it like that, and you move and you click with your index finger you click with this anytime you hear click it means left click this is left click this is right click okay this is left click this is right click then whenever you hear click it means left click mouse action this is click you use it to select object or choose among options for example to click we're talking about clicking now this is adobe reader 11 I'll click on it. Did you hear that? I've clicked. That is click. It's to select. Okay, it's selected. You can see that. So that's to click. That's a mouse action. The next mouse action is to double click. You need to open an item. The item may be a folder, it may be a file, or an application on the computer. Okay, this my mouse. Want to double click. If I want to open this folder, this is temp, I'll double click on it. That is open. Okay, let me close it. I'll click once. That is double click to open an item. I want to run an application. This is an application, this one, where you have Adobe Reader 11. I'll double click on it. You can see that. This is the software. It's open before me. Let me close it. Okay, let me open this folder. Okay, if I want to open this folder, for example, OneDrive, okay, I'll double click on it. Good. That's the command called to double click. It opens either a folder, a file, or an application. 
The next command I want to look at is to right click. To right click is to activate the pop up menu or the drop down menu. I will right click on this icon here. It's called a shortcut actually. And I click on it, you can see you have a drop down menu. When you right click, it brings up a menu, okay, with which you can issue more commands to the computer. You have two types of menus depending on how they appear. If I right click here, this is a pop up menu. If I right click at the top here, this is a drop down menu. So to right click means to open up a command list, list of many uh, commands with which you issue more commands to the computer. The next mouse action is press and drag. Press and drag is to move an object. I want to move this recycle bin to this point. Meanwhile, we are not moving the we are not moving the object from that location. It's still the, we are still on the desktop here. So if I want to move this, I can press and drag. You can see that I have moved it. I want to move it here, press and drag. Okay. I will take it back, press and drag. That is the icon for the recycle bin. You press and drag the object takes it to another location let me bring it back meanwhile for it to be able to move like this you should make sure that uh, if I come here look at view you see the auto arrange icons it's not checked the next thing we want to check is to press drag and drop okay that's move between two locations you have an item in the, in the system the computer you can move it from one location to the other and the locations are normally folders Okay, you want to take something from one folder to another folder, you press on the item, you drag it, and you drop it in the other location. Let's try that. For example, let me go to Windows Explorer, Windows E. This Windows E. Good. Let me come here and go to Documents. Okay, you can see this. This is PowerPoint folder. I've opened it. I double clicked on it. How to use PowerPoint. Let me go back. Okay, now I want to take this file and put it inside. Okay, that is to move. So I'll click on it, press and drag it to the PowerPoint folder and release. Good. I've moved the object from where it was to that folder. So if I open this by double clicking, you can see it. That is the file. So when you press, drag and drop, you are moving an object between two locations. Okay. And the next one is to to control, okay, plus press, drag, and drop, okay. Here you are moving and copying between two locations. Let's go back to that folder. This is it. Let me just bring it out. I want to right click on it. I'll cut it. I'll go back, right click here, and paste it here. Good. This is our folder back. That's, that, that's our file. Let me refresh. You right click and click on refresh. Good. Now I want to take this one, this file, into our PowerPoint folder and still leave a copy here. Okay? So you are moving and you are copying. Look at the option we're talking about. That is control plus press plus drag and drop. Okay? So you will move and copy between two locations. So I'll come here. I'll hold down my control key. I've done that. I'll click on it. Press already, hold it down, move it here to the PowerPoint folder, and release it. You are dropping it. I've done that. You saw the short animation, okay? That was where it was copying. So we have Abdul Latif here, okay? And also, if we open the PowerPoint folder, we also have Abdul Latif. So to copy, it's called move and copy, okay? You call that command move and copy. That's control. You hold down your control key. You click on the object and you drag it to the other folder where you want it to be. You still have a copy where you brought it from. The next one is to scroll. Scroll is to show hidden objects or text on the same page. Okay? To scroll. That when you use the scroll of your mouse. This is a book I'm writing. So if I want to scroll now, this is your mouse. Okay? Okay? I will scroll. See, I'm scrolling. That's, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. That's on the, this, this scroll. This scroll, you scroll on the wheel here, this wheel, this wheel. I'm scrolling towards myself, okay? 
okay i'm scrolling up if i'm scrolling away from myself i'm scrolling down okay scrolling down that's the scroll the wheel on your mouse the next command click on the scroll to activate scroll up or down okay the scroll on your mouse okay that scroll you can press on it click on it i've done that now you see after clicking on it you can see the icon you just move the mouse up to scroll up okay okay you move the mouse down just move down to scroll down okay that's one of the commands of the mouse press again to leave that mode 